I'm really excited to present to you guys the first in the series of creature animation, especially mythical creature animation. The demand for creature animators is growing and will continue to rise as motion capture tends to take over a lot of the biped style of animation. Creature animation and, and animal animation is going to remain steady. So we're going to look at the dragon and look at it with a combination of quadruped animation and winged characters. So we'll start with a, the basic structure of a wing, how it, how it operates. We'll do some real basic studies by making ourselves a little bit of a uh, simple geometric object here and look at the structure of the wing and animate and set keyframes <clears throat> and set pose to pose animation. And we'll look at references with large birds like the crane here as an example. We'll slow down the flight uh, to make the size even larger, make it seem uh, like a larger character. And we'll uh, continue to look at those references and go back to the, the creature and use that information to help us and guide our discovery of the dragon's animation. We'll start with pose to pose, looking not at the timing, but just the poses, but the entire character's poses, not just the wings, but the body, the tail, the head, the feet. And we'll do overlapping uh, animation. We'll go over how the, the motion flows through the character, looking at the interpolation curves, and um, getting all the characters nice smooth motion where it needs to be smooth and uh, more dynamic where it needs to be dynamic. Look at arc motion, look at the different tools inside of Maya to guide arc motion. And we'll do an entire flight cycle um, and we can be repeated and used inside of your game animation, etc. We'll move from there on to a landing of the character, taking everything we've learned from the flight cycle and apply that now to a landing character, which is a lot more complex and every pose is going to be different. There's no cycle we can we can uh, go at, uh, approach. But we're going to um, just go over how the character lands, the physicality of the character, not just the, the weight of the character, but how this, this muscle mass is pushing against the air and how the air reacts and responds and how this, this massive character can slow itself down to a landing. And all the other parts, the, the head and the tail and the feet, all react with the ground plane and how we can get that physicality and that response to the ground plane properly in. And looking at all the little details, I, every little little part, we'll be looking at layering the animation once we do pose to pose, getting the timing correct, getting that ground contact um, well considered and well thought out. Uh, looking at um, some simple problems of gimbal locking, but always going back to that, that curve editor and making sure that our curves are smooth uh, where they need to be and, and tight where they need to be as well. And uh, the timing as well, too. The, are the, is the character flapping at the right time? And what's the thought process of this dragon when he's landing on the ground? What's his next move? What, what's he trying to accomplish? He's trying to, obviously, there's this emotional impact of him trying to scare the audience. So we'll set the, the, the camera in a way that is most responsive to this dragon presence and uh, get some, some emotional reaction out of it. So hope you like it. I hope you, I had a lot of fun doing this, uh, this series. And we have a lot of uh, fun and enjoy the process. The rig is available for free, by the way. And uh, I give credit to the, people, the uh, guy that rigged the character. So uh, enjoy playing with this rig and having a lot of fun with Dragon Animation.